Hello, this is Steven with uh, Green Tunes Performance. Just wanted to show you the install of a new uh, Mega Raisin from Pivot. It's made in Japan. The purpose of it is to stabilize the voltage from your electrical system to the engine um, and to all your electrical components. It's uh, supposed to extend the life of your battery and uh, give you improved uh, power uh, at higher RPMs and mid-range, um, more horsepower. Uh, they prove it on a dyno. As well, it uh, basically keeps the voltage uh, level from breaking up under demand from the electrical system uh, by your engine when it needs more power for spark through your spark plugs. So, uh, one of the benefits is uh, improved mileage, up to about 5% improved mileage, um, improved electrical component life. So what I did uh, was install the unit here on my windshield washer reservoir container. It doesn't get warm, and uh, cleaned it, cleaned the, the uh, plastic surfaces very well before I used the 3M sticky tape. And the directions say to mount your voltage regulator uh, with the wires down, so water can't get in the unit through the holes where the cables go in. So I noticed some people uh, on the internet installing this uh, wrong according to the directions which are right over there. Um, they are written in English as well as Japanese. So if you speak Japanese, it's you got you covered. <laughs> uh, the warranty on the unit is only valid in Japan according to the little insert that's in the package. They say that it'll last about five to ten years. Um, I imagine the Japanese do a good job building this since they're known for quality. Hopefully that's the case. Pivot is made by Pivot Racing. They make a lot of um, high, looks like high quality uh, components for uh, racing. So this uh, stabilizes the voltage for uh, like a big audio system um, and it has some other benefits. So it's about $90. I got it through uh, place out of California. They shipped it as promised. Looks like the real deal. Uh, put in the grounding cables. I added a grounding cable here from the frame uh, to the negative of the battery. It came with this bracket for your extra grounding cable connections. Of course we have the negative from the unit itself to the negative terminal of the battery. And then we have a cable from the ground of the battery to the engine manifold. Um, that cable fit nicely there, and I put a cable um, from the frame of the car to the intake manifold, and then it's it's not touching anywhere for for heat. I got it uh, zip tied in place. I had a couple of extra uh, grounding cables that I did not use because I feel like I have it covered. If I was to connect anywhere else, it would be farther down on the block somewhere. Um, to the frame or yeah that's what I would do from the from the block of the engine to the frame somewhere some you know connect the ground that way but for now um, I'm just gonna try it this way and see if everything uh, works as advertised just wanted to show you the installation um, I guess I could turn the car on and show you what it does to some degree Starts up. We got our voltage readout on the scan gauge, and then um, we have a readout over here on the unit. That it's, it goes out. I don't know. I don't know. I need to learn more about it. But here's the readout again on the scan gauge. I don't have anything turned on. It's just the ignition system 
running the car. It's demanding from the system. I'll turn on the headlights, see if that changes it. Headlights are on. It pulled it down. Try uh, revving up the engine, maybe. Turn off the headlights. Turn on the headlights. Turn off the headlights. Rev up the engine. It's about 5,000 RPM, 5,100. I think that's enough just to give you an idea of what it did. I don't